Hello everybody, my name is Davis, and welcome back to another video, and today we are here for another severe weather breakdown. Now today, we're going to be talking about the remnants of this tornado outbreak that is still causing severe weather along the east coast of the United States. We're also going to be talking about an upcoming storm that could be even bigger. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off with the Storm Prediction Center outlook for today, where we have a marginal risk of severe weather extending from northeastern Alabama all the way up into New Hampshire. This marginal risk includes 41 million people because of all the major cities that are in this, all right? We've got Atlanta, Georgia. We've got Charlotte, North Carolina. We've got Raleigh, North Carolina. Roanoke, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia. Washington, Baltimore. Uh, we got Scranton, Binghampton, Burlington, Albany, all right? All these major cities are included in this marginal risk, so if you're in any of them, look out. Some damaging winds, hail, and tornadoes are possible. We do not have a tornado threat in effect from the Storm Prediction Center, but if you're in this brown area, you have a 5% chance to see wind gusts of 60 miles per hour higher in your town, and uh, we do not have a hail threat from the Storm Prediction Center, okay? So let's go ahead and move on to what the forecast models are showing here. So at the minute, we see that we've got some heavy rain and storms sweeping through the east coast here with some snow on the backside that could impact parts of the northeast here. Uh, that will move out, and then we'll start to look at some moisture uh, kind of happening in the west coast here, where we see we got some storms, some snow, maybe an atmospheric river type event. We've also got some rain and snow firing off in Texas that could cause a few storms and then eventually it will evolve into this cluster of rain and storms here across Dixie Alley, potentially sweep through Dixie Alley and cause another round of Dixie Alley storms, all right? That will be around March 1st uh, on the uh, Friday if that does happen, so you're going to want to look, look out for that. Right now, the severe weather threat is not too concerning, but we could be seeing some isolated storms capable of producing damaging winds and hail. Uh, by Saturday, we're still looking at that atmospheric river in the western United States there. Eventually, that will stop, and then by uh, Tuesday, March 5th, we'll be looking at a huge band of moisture to pop up here in parts of the Midwest and the Deep South here that could evolve into some storms, all right? And this is that storm that I was talking about that we're going to have to really watch out for because even though we're forecasting over 100 hours out, we see that the uh, GFS here is showing some pretty intense stuff here for the Deep South Dixie Alley. Area, okay, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. After that passes, we could be looking at another storm to bring us something similar, but at this point, we're forecasting over 200 hours out, so nothing is certain. None of this is going to be very accurate to what really happens, but the one thing you can take away from something like this is that there is a lot of potential out there for severe weather and big snow events in the near future, okay? So finally, watches, warnings, and advisories. In Eastern California, we have blizzard war uh, warnings up for this massive winter storm that is coming very very soon. We've also got winter storm warnings up in the pink, uh, some avalanche warnings in the blue there. That hot pink color that we have ag across a good portion of the central plains there are red flag warnings. Recently, we had the second largest Texas wildfire ever recorded here in the panhandle of Texas. And uh, while the threat is not that extremely high for fire danger up here, we could still see some fire. So do not be burning out here. Very dangerous idea, all right? We got some severe thunderstorm warnings here on the border of Georgia and South Carolina at the minute, capable of producing some gusty winds and small hail. Wind advisories and high wind watches even in effect here all along the East Coast, okay? So other than that, that pretty calm right now so if you guys did enjoy this video please do be sure to like and subscribe stay safe and i'll see you all in the next one peace